Hi everyone! My name is Jennifer and I'm really excited about our project today. Have you ever heard of Malian mud cloth? It's a special type of material that's made in West Africa. The artists there paint designs onto their fabric and then dye it with fermented mud. The end results are really beautiful. So we're going to adapt those techniques and make our own version of Malian mud cloth today. Let's get started. First, let's talk about supplies. You'll need a few basic items for this project. Stickers, scissors, white cotton fabric, paint and water, paintbrush, and something to mix the paint and water in. So your first step is going to be to put your stickers onto your fabric. I chose to cut my fabric down into small squares like this because I thought maybe I would use these mud cloths as little coasters under drinks. So I've got the material already cut into squares and now I'm going to take my stickers and I'm going to make patterns all around my material. So just peel and stick. Okay, we're back and ready to paint. So I already got some stuff set up. You can see here that I put some of my uh, purple paint in this tray, and then I put some of that brown paint in this tray. This tray doesn't have any water in it yet. That's why I have, I have this little carafe. You could have a jar or a spray bottle, whatever you want. Um, I did put water in the purple tray because I wanted to try it out and see how it was gonna go first. And um, so what I did is I added a little bit of water and paint into one of these empty trays and I just started to apply that onto my material here. And you can see I already started here across the top and it was working pretty well. And what I kind of discovered was that um, you can add water sort of as you go. So I have this big blob of paint over here. Um, and then kind of these little trays filled with water and I can just kind of come over here and get some more water if I need it and kind of smear it around and you can see the paint is not um, sticking on on those um, on those stickers it's just going right around it so I'm just gonna keep kind of painting and um, you do not have to be neat here this is sort of um, one of those times where you can kind of be a little messy if you want. So we're back and I just wanted to show you that I finished painting all of the squares. I um, went with brown for this one. You can see um, that one is the one that had the, um, the blue stripes. And then on, on this one, I did this one in brown too, but then I decided after I was done with that that I would dab some of the purple paint on top. So I just kind of took the brush and kind of smashed some purple on top of it. Kind of looks a um, little mottled there. And then um, the other two are purple, as you can see. And again, you'll notice, you know, I really did not, it's not an even coat of paint. I definitely there's you can still see some of the fabric shining through in, in, in spots some spots are darker than others and that's kind of what you want that's the look you're going for so and then this one the one with the X's it'll be interesting to see how that one looks um, even kind of this is the back of it you can already start to see um, that negative space that's created with those stickers you might have learned about positive and negative space in your art class at school or something like that. So now the next step is to let these dry and then we'll be able to come back in and peel off those stickers and see our finished product. Okay, we're back. I finished peeling off all the stickers and now it's time to show you the four finished 
Malian mud cloth coasters that I made. So here is purple with the X's. And here's the one with the, the stripes. Here's the brown one, looks good. And you saw this one, the brown and the purple. So I had a lot of fun with this project. Things I liked about it were that it was fast, it was easy, and you can use stuff that you have around the house. I also like that you can really design whatever shape you want. It doesn't have to be a geometric. You could even do something with your initials, um, an outline of a flower, whatever it is that you like. I think there's a lot of opportunity to be creative with this project, and it turned out really well. I'm excited, and I hope that you had a great time too. Thanks so much, and have a great day.